In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Mercedes-Benz Atigo 2425 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're having a look at the Mercedes-Benz Atigo. Uh, this is 2425. Now, um, it's one of those weird mods where you know i just gotta have a look at to see how bad or how good it is um and just having a look at this from the word go it's like what the first thing i thought of was what the hell it's very very strange i've never seen anything like this at all anyway this can be found in the mercedes-benz truck dealer as you can see there and we are in stuttgart so let's go and check out how you can modify this truck. So first of all, we have a look at the sleepers. Now, there's meant to be three sleepers, but all it's really doing is changing that guy's shirt. See, it's it's just changing it a little bit there and then there as well. So, oh no, I, that's not even changing his shirt. That's actually throwing a steering wheel in there. Wow. Interesting. So if you want a steering wheel through his chest, ugh! He's in, been impaled. There you go. You can do that. Uh, I'm just going to stick that one on. Then we have a look at the chassis. Now, this gets pretty interesting. We got 4x2. We got the uh, 6x2. We got the 624. We got the 62 tag lift. And we have uh, 624 mid lift. And we have uh, 64. Oh, I'm actually going to go 624. Uh, Tag, uh, sorry there, the tag lift is what I'm going to go there. Uh, that's going to be interesting. I reckon that. I reckon it will be. Alright, so let's have a look at the engines. So the actual engines that we have here uh, is the Mercedes engines, 254 horsepower. Uh, there's the V6 Blue Tech, which goes from 364, uh, you know, 360 up. Uh, then we have the V8 Blue Tech, uh, 510. Uh, 551 and 598 so what we'll do is we'll start with that one and we'll have a look at these other engines to see if they're actually changing the sounds or not now the transmission we've got 12 speed 6 speed and that's it uh, the Allison so we've got the power shift 12 speed Allison 6 speed uh, and there's the retarder so I'm just gonna leave it on that one there why not now the interior here is the interior uh, of this truck so it's yeah uh it's it looks fine i'm just looking at the floor is the only thing i've got questionable here uh it's a bit of it looks weird i don't know what's wrong with the floor look at that that's strange but anyway uh if you're not looking at the floor it, it doesn't look too bad i mean it's a little bit chunky somebody's eaten there some dog probably chewed the front of the dash there um but you know these things happen you know you get that in the trucking world you know wild dog savage dog jumps in the truck and starts eating the crap out of your dash i mean these things happen don't they um then we're having a look around uh is that missing a texture there almost looks like it but i'm not sure um looks okay i mean it's not bad i've got no complaints about it so let's uh we have a look at the other dashes here you've got the right and left dash now that's straight out of the game there and so is that there uh, having a look at the other dash there, I mean, there's no difference, really. What's what's changed? Nothing. Nothing at all. So, I don't know what the go is with that. Oh, hang on. Oh, you get a GPS in one of them. Well, there you go. That makes it all the difference. Uh, let's go to paint jobs. Have a look at that. Uh, greys, you got greys, you got browns, you got scarlet. You got custom colour you want to have a custom color there you can and you can choose any custom color that you so so choose uh, none of your skins work as you can see the uh, skins here are all messed up so uh, when they were mapping it it sort of messed it up uh, then we uh, go to the we've got metallics the amber glory and the grand citron let's try the to make our own custom there's one, uh, there's two, and there we go, there's three. So all three are working. The only problem is is that 
none of the none of these sorry hiccups uh, are working not even these metallic ones are actually working properly so that's a real shame that is very very much a real shame uh, have a look at these other skins and it's just the base color not the actual skin itself so bummer that's a real bummer so um, back up to here and I'm going to choose uh, let's see where's get past all these I'm gonna go to that metallic there the Grand Citroen there is the only one that really looks you know half decent on this one now going to the accessories let's have a look here uh, we've got a lower grill guard there uh, then we have oh, what's that again what's that oh that's the exhaust that's right uh, there's the exhaust so two different kinds of exhaust to have on there it's a dump pipe there and then there's one that goes out the side I'm just gonna put the dump pipe on um, then we have a tank a Beppo whatever a Beppo is is that like add blue I guess uh, and then we have another fuel tank there as well back around spinning back around what do we have there there's antennas you can go crazy with your fishing antennas so if you want to pull up to a lake somewhere and just all you have to do is just sit in your truck really and fish um, you can do that there on the singular one or two I'm gonna have two antennas hopefully I can catch me some dinner uh, then we go over to the mirrors and they don't do a licking thing so you know you got plastic paint or chrome or basically you just use your imagination yeah that's paint oh that's very nice mmm chrome that's very nice too but I'm gonna stick it on plastic leave it on that then up the very top here we have antenna I'm oh, sorry not antennas we have air conditioning um, I'm not sure oh yeah there we go you can see it now it's working uh, there we are that one looks better I like that one better than that looks a bit boxy on the top there and if you want to have cargo you can chuck some in there I don't know what the hell that is but it looks like a big block of big block of cheese I guess or butter is that cheese or butter I don't know what that is it's one big block of butter how about that is stuck in the back there uh, then we go down to the tires and you can go and put on any custom tires I'm not gonna bother I'm just gonna leave them on there uh, and then we can go to your rims any of the standard rims um, I I just I don't know I'm just gonna leave it to be honest I'm not even gonna bother putting any other rims on there uh, then we have the tires on the back of the same this, all the legit tires the, the proper ones and then there we have the rims as well all the standard stuff so there we go same thing there there and there spinning it around and my god would you look at the size of that flap these flaps man are huge the biggest flaps I've ever seen in my entire life have you ever seen flaps that big ever ever that's huge and they're dirty look at that dirty flaps you got d massive big dirty flaps there truck that's terrible anyway so that's I'd never seen anything that big before that's amazing um and that's pretty much it you got the mirrors there what's that the air conditioner yeah yeah there we go yeah well there you go that's it all right now off to the in uh, the inside let's have a look uh, mirrors and still nothing happens there uh, your steering wheel uh, the same steering wheel for there and there and then you got that one there I'm gonna try that one then we go over to here and what do we got ah CB several different spots you can hang it I'm gonna hang it up there the antennas you can take them out or put them on otherwise it doesn't really change the licking thing I'm not sure why the antennas are going through the center of the cab but anyway there's the main mirrors you can have a seat if you want a seat <coughs> sorry um, oh yeah there's the seats there sorry it is for the two seats so there you go whichever seat you want there let's just put that one on um, and there we go that is pretty much it that's everything well oh sorry did I miss one no all right well that's it let's confirm that and let's go and do a trade-in on the last mod and see how it drives we got to go check out the engines first yep thank you very much and there we go 
<clears throat> Sorry, my throat's gone all funny all of a sudden. It's weird. I should have got myself a drink, but anyway. Um, there's that butter. I hope that butter doesn't melt in the back of the uh, truck there. Butter or cheese or whatever it is. And... I mean, there's no big gaping holes or anything like that. And just, yeah, that's a little bit crinkled. Oh, did you see that? But there's, that's it. There's nothing major hanging off there or things that shouldn't be there or whatever. So it looks okay. It's just, why the hell is it on such an angle? Imagine when you hit the brakes. You got a load like that in there. You hit the brakes really hard. Where's your load going to go? Straight over the top on your roof. So you have all this butter on your roof. Um, yeah, the, the letters on their Mercedes Benz are actually away from the sun visor and they're bent. So that's weird. Um, now, for those of you who have ever wanted to know what E's 54 looks like, uh, that's him there. That looks just like him right there, the driver. He, he looks like that, except a little bit hairier. So there you go, that, that's, that's whatever. Um, and that's um, the people, the long-term members of Junior Senior Gaming you know what I'm talking about. So there we go. Um, man, there's a massive flap on there. It's massive. Uh, so let's start her up and see what it sounds like. Okay. There we go, that's what it sounds like. And uh, let's go for the headlights. There we go. And uh, high beams. There's high beams. Uh, flashes. Oh, we haven't got the flashes installed yet. Still haven't fixed that, have I? Alright, there's reverse ones. Uh, the, sorry, the back ones. Uh, reverse. There's reverse. There's the brake lights. Wow, they are so bright you would be blinded. Blinded by the light there. Uh, horn. Oh, it's the same. Air horn and the... Air horn and then the, the uh, standard horn are the same. So there we go. Uh, what else? Wipers. There's no wipers on there, so they're not going to work. Well, uh, let's go on the inside here. Oh, there's wipers working in here. Oh, that's good. So we have wipers working in here. There we go. All right, cross your fingers for display. Oh, yeah, okay, that works. That's good. Okay, all right. Now, let's go and check out the... We're going... Uh, check out the engines. That looks so weird in the mirror, doesn't it? So weird. All right. Jumping outside. That's what that sounds like. Let's go check out the uh, other engines. So we had the V6 Blue Tech. And we'll start that up. Sounds. The, the starting up sounds different, but it's, it sounds the same to me anyway. Uh, let's go and have a look at the uh, the V8. The V8's definitely going to sound different. No way it'll sound the same. All right. No, nah, sounds exactly the same. So anyway, all sounds, all the sounds sound the same. So let's go take it for a drive and see how it drives now. Now turn those lights on. There we go. And, uh, well, I mean, it seems to be fine. It's a little bit heavy in the steering wheel, but nothing to really get upset about. It seems to be handling quite well. Oh, that sounds like you're killing someone. The exhaust brake, the, the banana brake there sounds like you're killing someone. Ripping through the gears. 
Oh, I hit the wall. Hang on. Listen to this. That's horrible. That is terrible. That really sounds like you're killing someone. It so does. <laughs> well, guys, there we go. So that's that's this truck that we have for today. A very interesting mod. Um, I thought, look, it was it looked interesting when I was having a look at it. And I thought, oh, look, it's something different to what we've, you know, what we normally see. So let's check it out. And, um, yeah, I still think it's very interesting. But, um, guys, look, if you like this truck and you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then uh, what all you have to do is punch that like button. And uh, the winner of the weekly drive will be, uh, will then, will take a get a load. And we'll go take it for a drive and uh, see how it handles with the actual load. So uh, if you think it's worthy, guys, make sure you vote. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior City Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior City Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.